technology, someone created fake news broadcasts using artificial intelligence software to spread pro-government misinformation online. Stefano Posibon with the story. We wanted to find out if Venezuela is really as destroyed as the media have claimed for years. This isn't actually a real person. Take a closer look. This fake avatar was created using artificial intelligence to look like a real human. In recent months, videos like these have been shared across Venezuelan social media and even on state-run television to spread misinformation about the country. Media from different countries have described the event organized by Venezuela as a total and unexpected success. This year, Venezuelans have been taken to the street to demand better living conditions. The country's minimum wage is less than $10 a month. And last year, inflation was over 200%. But these artificial news clips have been trying to make the country look more prosperous. Maridi Marin Vasquez, the executive director at Provox, a Venezuelan-based organization that monitors for online misinformation, says that these AI-generated people have been created and spread with a specific purpose. To sell to the international community a different reality about the country of success, happiness and the stability that really doesn't exist. So how true is it that Venezuela is such a poor country? Has the media exaggerated things in that place? And it's not just social media. The Venezuelan government itself is helping to spread these videos on social media and even on state-run television. Even Nicolás Maduro, the country's embattled president, has shared the videos. They are all artificial intelligence. They do not exist. They are robots created by artificial intelligence. I am a robot. These fake videos are often in English with Spanish subtitles and are shared on social media, which is often a trusted source of news for many Venezuelans because the government imposes strict controls on the country's traditional media. You go from completely lack of reliable information in the traditional media in your region, and then you go towards the other end. So you're suddenly like, eating, drinking, smelling, everything that is on your WhatsApp or your Telegram or your social media. Start by selecting an AI avatar. Like me. Or me. Or me. These AI avatars are advertised as a way for companies to create easy to make instructional videos, for example. The company behind the technology says that it's not intended to spread false narratives. When asked for comment, the company told CNN that it has since banned House of News from using its AI software. YouTube has also removed the channel from its platform. It's still unclear who originally created these videos, as well as if the Venezuelan government was involved. The government did not respond to CNN's request for comment. Hey there, I'm Matt and I can- If you're unsure about whether or not a video that you're watching is done by one of these fake avatars, pay close attention to their speech and mouth movements. Has a dozen pavilions that occupy 23 hectares. Do their words align with the movements of their mouth? Do these movements feel awkward or constricted? Security will be in charge of guards from the general directorate. If that is the case, you're watching a digital avatar. It's not a real person. In Venezuela, it is estimated that 8 million people will mobilize in the next vacation. When your friends and your own government are sharing this misinformation, it demands a lot more vigilance to see through the lies.